In this video, we'll take a quick look at the macro-driven program files, how to record them and link them to icons on the toolbar in the user interface. The macro capability was reintroduced into FEMAP version 9.1 and allows you to record, edit, debug, and playback macros working entirely inside the FEMAP interface. We'll see how you can easily create macros to automate repetitive modeling tasks or simply run through a series of commands which you may want to repeat with a single click of a button. Once we've created the macro, we'll create a new icon on a toolbar and link the macro to it. One thing I do fairly frequently in FEMAP is take screenshots, and if you're going to include images into a Word document or PowerPoint presentation with a transparent background, it's necessary to have a flat screen background. And so I find myself often going through a series of commands to change the background color, change the text colors and so on, and then reset them again afterwards. This kind of activity is ideally suited for macro creation. And in fact, I've already gone ahead and created a few macros. You can see them up in the top left in their own toolbar here. I have one, when I click it, will turn the screen white. Another, when I click it, will return the screen to default colors. And there's a third here, which changes the background screen colors to match those of solid edge. So for this example, we'll create another to add to this series, one which will turn the screen color black. Before we go on and create the macro, though, I'll say a couple of words about the toolbar itself. We've created these icons and macros, and we've put them into a brand new toolbar, which is very easy to do if we go into Customize, and then we just select New, enter a toolbar name, whatever it is, click OK, and then close. And you can see that the new toolbar has appeared up in the, in the corner here. Then it's ready to be populated. You can drag and drop icons across from other toolbars, or do as we're going to do in a few minutes, create a new icon and add it to the toolbar. Well, we don't need this new one, so I'm just going to go back into Customize. Go down to the bottom, I think I call it whatever, and then just delete it. Okay. The program file menu can be found under Tools. Select Tools, Program File, and a new program file pane appears. And here you can do various things. You can open a file, save it. Uh, there are various tools that are available to you. There's a record. You can put in breakpoints if you want the macro to stop at a certain place, if you want to add some additional data or something. Anyway, I think we're ready to start recording, so let's click the record button. And now we have to enter all of the commands necessary to get us to the desired state, that is, a black background screen, essentially. So we go into View, Background. At the moment it's under Shaded, so let's click Solid here. And I know that the black color is zero, so I'll just enter zero there and click OK and immediately the background goes black of course but also in the program file pane you notice that the command view background has appeared the next thing is to change the color of the text so we go into view options label parameters first of all and I know that white is the color 124 so I'll just enter white there tools and view style view legend View axes, they're OK. We go into post processing, post titles, and contour criteria legend. Select OK, and that's it. So now we can stop recording and test it out. Let's go back and reset the view to the default view, and then we can come back here and just push the little play button and see what happens. Seems to work OK. So the next thing is to save this. We go into the Save icon, and there are a group of other macros here, so let's just give this a file name. Black screen. And save that. And then we can close this window. So the next thing is to add this macro to the toolbar and give it an icon. We right-click the toolbar itself, go back into Customize, User Commands. You can see some of the other ones here. I'm going to add in black screen. Go and browse to it. Back into customize, into commands, scroll down to user commands, and there's black screen. Now we just literally drag and drop that over to 
the toolbar and it appears as a text icon at this stage. Now we can add in a pictorial icon and uh, I'm just going to go and borrow this one. Copy button image back to black screen paste button image and then let's edit that just to save some time. And here we have the little button editor which has a number of tools and we're going to use one of them here. This is the fill color. It's on black so let's just fill it up with black and click OK. And there we have another black screen icon added to the others. And that's it. Very simple way to create macros, very powerful capability now available in FEMAP version 9.1.